Hello and welcome to the Kubernetes DevOps and Security course. In short, it is a Kubernetes DevSecOps course. My name is Siddharth and I will be your instructor for this course. This course contains short lectures of a topic followed by a demo. It has some basic prerequisites like you're expected to know Jenkins, Linux skills, shell scripting, DevOps, Kubernetes, and Docker. So these are good to have. It would be great if you have some entry level knowledge on these tools and technologies because we will not cover from scratch. We will be having a brief overview of the topic or the tool being used followed by a demo. All the code snippets will be provided via a GitHub repository or as a downloadable resource. Let us now look at the course objectives. We have four sections to cover. Section one is all about introducing DevSecOps concepts. We will also see how the security can be integrated into every step of HDLC. And we'll end the section with an overview of the tools and technologies which will be explored in this use case. In section two, we will set up a free Azure account to run a virtual machine and install all the required softwares to do the hands-on part. We will also set up a single node Kubernetes cluster for deploying the Kubernetes you know, applications. And all the required scripts will be provided for you to set them, set them up quickly. And then we'll understand a very simple use case which will be used in this course. And we'll be ending the section by creating a basic Jenkins pipeline consisting of four stages. In section three, we will start adding security to the existing pipeline. We will end this section by sending you know, uh, Jenkins build notifications using a simple Slack legacy application. By the end of section three, we will be having a full-fledged Jenkins pipeline with security embedded. So you can expect around 13 to 14 stages within the same pipeline. Majority of section four is about Kubernetes security. We will be addressing few security concepts here and then promote the application from a dev namespace to a production namespace with added security. We will also monitor the cluster using tools like Falco and Kubescan. And then we'll also use Istio to secure how the pods you know, communicate with each other. We will end this section by creating a custom Slack application to send content rich messages from Jenkins. Apart from this four sections, I also have plans to add a section five where, which will cover additional security, security concepts of Kubernetes. For each topic, we will cover the concept using slides with basic animations, which will be followed by a demo lecture. Throughout this course, we will be running the Jenkins pipeline many times, and I will be speeding up the video during the pipeline execution so that you can save some time and at the same time you don't get bored you know seeing the same stages running again and again so during this fast forward you should be seeing a sign of 20x or 50x so that you understand the video is being fast forwarded we will be using more than 15 tools and technologies to apply the DevSecOps methodology so i would highly recommend you to try this hands-on exercises for better understanding and as mentioned earlier all the code snippets and sample content will be provided via our GitHub repository or as a downloadable resource. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me via LinkedIn or through our Slack channel. Well, that's all for now. Thank you.